time to get my little S10, a little scrubby dub dub. She's pretty filthy. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we gotta we gotta go drive my S10, take her to the car wash at least. I've been sitting here for know, six, eight months, probably eight months or more. It's time to wash her off. We don't, got, we don't have a battery for it, so we'll probably take the battery out of this thing, put it in here, pull it up here, out of this hole right here it's in, and check the check the oil and all the fluids and make sure we got enough air in the tires. And gotta climb to the passenger side to even get in. But let's snag the battery out of there and see if she'll start up. All right, so we decided to just take it out of the OBS right now. I need to buy me a new battery, but I just, it was 200 and something dollars for a battery in this thing. It was 200 and something dollars for a battery in the Cadillac. It was 200 and something dollars for a battery in the Expedition. I'm done buying batteries right now. <laughs> so we're gonna take this one out. And uh, i tell you something, I wish, I wish they put a handle on all the batteries and I don't know why they don't, all of them, all of them needs a handle on it. <laughs> Let's get this thing out of here, cram it in that S10. I believe the older I get, heavier these batteries get. <laughs> See, it needs a handle on it. There it went. Drop right into place. Walked up on the truck just a minute ago and turned the camera on and a bird flew out of the damn grill on the thing. And there's a bird's nest in there that's fixing to had to be, the fixing had to be evicted. We ain't paying rent, time to go. My favorite pliers for taking out batteries. I'm sure there's out some oldies but goodies. I don't know if they're made in America or not. Let's see y'all. Uh, put this out of the way. Oh, that one right here. Alright, so we just turn that off. Alright, I'll climb in here and see if this thing will start. Yep, we got some juice in here. We ain't got no carpet. We ain't got no headliner. I think it leaks water in the back. Looks like it ain't leaking water right sitting underneath this carport. Leak water in here and the truck sit for years and ruined all my ruined all my stuff. Let's see what this thing I do. I hear a fuel pump kicking on. Hmm. Pretty quick, fellas. Pretty quick. It's not bad. We've been sitting there for about eight or nine minutes. Five, five, five. Oh. 
Yeah, you can tell she's been sitting in a hole, that's for sure. Breaks us all, rust it up. Rusty, rusty. She is filthy. Filthy. So, we're not gonna do it tonight. Uh, as far as going to the car wash, we're taking for a drive. We're gonna get it up after that hole anyway. We'll get some uh, check the air and the tires. I mean, check the fluids in it. And check the transmission fluid once it gets warm. And, uh, put some air, and I'm pretty sure it needs air and tires or whatever. Check the oil, oil are good. So, probably tomorrow, the next day, we'll uh, you know, wash the windshield for one thing. <laughs> And uh, we'll take it up there and at least, at least spray it off a little bit. All right, so we got the hot battery in there. Put an extra battery in the back of the truck just in case. And uh, let's run her to the car wash, see how she, how she does on the road.
one hour later. Yeah, so we carted up to the car wash. She rides like a dump truck. <laughs> Still got some dirt on it. I'm gonna take a wet rag and wipe, wipe it down when I get home, I guess. But that's about as best you can do with a car wash and people waiting and stuff. When we up at the park, just a couple of miles down the road. Kind of water tank over here. Well, all right, fellas, we're just gonna show you what we're doing. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.